just made me laugh like why are you doing this are you this weak so i wasn't really afraid because like the way he treated me the way he kicked me the way he dragged me it just shows he's he's not he's not okay here up and to grow all defending their own side. He um, hit me and he dragged me all around. My body now is full with bruises. Smiled in a way that I'm good, I'm okay. I was not afraid because I believe that I am right. So a girl, a girl that was beaten up and that was like lay, laying on ground, she was uh, helpless. I think what I did was natural is that to go and try to help her move up. A one soldier started um, trying to push me away and told me like in Hebrew, move from here. I didn't listen. I started, I kept trying to reach this girl and this is how it happened. What did I do? Just defending a girl who was be being beaten? That's why I'm arrested now? I have hope that our protesting and our voice will be heard and that uh, uh, the Sheikh Jarrah houses will not be uh, and the families will not be uh, dispelled from their houses. I think this is the way uh, we find strength when we are together protesting for each other because what would happen in Sheikh Jarrah, it will happen to the rest of Jerusalem because they wouldn't say, okay, it's only Sheikh Jarrah. No, it started in 1948 and they didn't stop. If we don't stand for each other, then who would stand for us?